Justin Fields is as exciting a player through the first 10 weeks of the season at anybody in the league. When I saw this one-yard touchdown run last week, I was reminded of just how exciting he is. Like right there's there's Aiden Hutchinson right there. Like he changed gears right here. And like just this change of direction. There's three lines right there trying to take him down. And for him to come out of this and then truck to Sean Elliott to get into the end zone for one of six touchdown runs on the year, Bears fans go wild. Like, he's just crazy good. It started to make me think. Top 10 plays of Justin Fields through 10 weeks. I'll make that number 10. Let's go back to week one for number nine. Remember this play? And this play right here is third and 10 in the third quarter. Bears are down 10 nothing. There's a monsoon going on. And here comes Eric Armstead around the corner at him. Like, just he just spins to win. And there goes Charles Amenahu. Like, it's just a wake of 49ers chasing Justin Fields. Somehow, out there in space, he finds Dante Pettis for this throw all alone. The Niners forgot all about him because they were just thinking about Justin Fields. 51 yards later, the Bears were on the board. They would shock the 49ers week one. All right, that's the ninth. How about number eight? How about fourth and four against Minnesota? How about this one? They're down 21-16 to third. Like, everybody takes a shot at him. There's Zedaria Smith. Right there, he only has nine and a half sacks. He gets away from him. Here's Eric Kendricks. Like, nobody can stop him from getting this first down. Fourth and four, first down. They would take the lead into the fourth quarter against the Vikings. They just couldn't hold the lead. And then you take this one against the Cowboys right here. Like, this is play action pass right now. All right, third and four. He turns his back, and here comes the reigning rookie defensive player of the year. Micah Parsons right at him. He just looks right down the gun barrel and finds Darnell Mooney here for 36 yards. Yeah, they would cut this lead to 28-23, and they made it a game. Again, defense couldn't hold, but they had them on the ropes there for a little bit. How about this one right here against Miami? Down 21-10 before the, the half. It's third and eight. You got three receivers side down at the bottom. How about this throw? The spray fade to Darnell Mooney. Can you throw it any better? 16 yards on the back shoulder. Perfect throw. They're like, Justin Fields, Darnell Mooney, it's worth the price of the ticket. We can't get enough. They're dancing there. Let's go to this game right here against the Houston Texans. Their second win of the season. It's third and nine. You're going to get all kinds of guys taking a shot at Justin Fields. You know, he's the sixth leading rusher in the NFL right now. He's averaging over seven yards a rush. He's going to get over 1,000 yards. Jerry Hughes diving at him. They're all diving at him. And then he just hits the gas pedal for 29 yards. If it was flag football, they wouldn't have ripped the flag off Justin Fields on that run. Then there's this one here against the New York Giants. Deep shot to Darnell Mooney. You want to see a deep shot? Like, look at this on a go route against the Dory Jackson, the Giants' best corner. It's perfect. He drops it right in the bucket, 57 yards in the air. It's a perfect strike. Xavier McKinney has got to stop Darnell Mooney from getting up and scoring right there on that play. Then let's go here against the Washington Commanders. How about this throw right here? With too many men on the field. Look up at the top. This is like Aaron Rodgers' book right here. Two guys running off the field. Justin Fields sees it, and he snaps it quick. Quick snap. Let's get a free play. And he makes this throw to Dante Pettis. Perfect. Over the shoulder. Beat the defender. Bear fans going crazy. 40-yard touchdown pass. Too many men on the field from Washington. Took advantage of it. Seen a lot right now. And then you get this one against Detroit. A shootout with the Lions. 24-24 right here. Fourth quarter. He had just thrown a pick six to Jeffrey Akuda. He comes back on a third down right here. A little read option. Makes the free safety miss. And just right down the middle of the field for 67 yards. And a touchdown for the lead. Again, they couldn't hold the lead. Longest play from scrimmage this year by the Chicago Bears. Can you get enough of Justin Fields? Well, here's the best play I saw this year. It's just a bonus coverage. Third and five, down 28-17 to the Miami Dolphins. What a day this was. Four straight games for Chicago, averaging over 30 points a game. How about this play? Where he climbs the pocket right here. Eyes are up down the field. He sees Darnell Mooney right there in the middle of the field, and he wants to throw to him, but he sees Mooney right now. He's going deep, so he pulls it down, and he makes them all miss. And he goes 61 yards for a touchdown. Mooney gives him a little bit of a block. They can't touch him. Like, you just see these Bear fans, like, they're just, it's just one of the great plays that we've seen in the NFL this year. Of the top 10 plays that Justin Fields has been a part of in the first 10 weeks, this one, to me, is still the best. You got pressure around the edge, eyes up. He's locating Mooney in the middle of the field. He wants to throw it, but Mooney's already turned his back to him, go deep. So he pulls it down, smart decision. Two guys, Baker right there, Wilkins. 
that they're all diving at him. And here comes Javon Holland, right? They're all chasing him. He's just faster than everybody else. Six touchdown runs, 12 touchdown passes, averaging over seven yards a carry, sixth in the league in rushing. Like, I can't wait for the next eight weeks with Justin Fields.